So, a few things happened last episode. One, we got to the bottom of why uh, Suzu has taken hold of all of the motherly responsibilities or of all the of Momiji's responsibilities. Uh, we found out that Nanaru cannot cook and is a danger to her own life while doing so. And apparently she can create a fucking chemical weapon out of an omelette. Uh, and Suzu has become popular at the school because as soon as we got there last episode, they, everyone started staring at her. And now, the number of looks we're getting, or should I say, Suzu's getting, only increases the closer we get to school. Gee. Gee. Uh. Gee. Gee. What's that I want to know? Probably because, probably just existing at this point. Why did she mosey her way in here? She holds out a magazine. Don't tell me she got her picture taken without knowing. You read fashion magazine, senpai? Bit of a shock, to be honest. I assumed Aerogay magazines would be the only thing she'd read. Yeah, well. <laughs> don't judge a... Uh, don't judge a manga by its cover, I guess. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything sometimes. Shut the hell up, sen Senpai. Get to the point. Says the Aerogay addict. I picture her going up to the register with an Aerogay magazine in one hand and a fashion magazine in the other. God, I wish I could see the look on that poor cashier's face. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh huh. Yeah, in your eyes, maybe. And you actually buy Aerogay magazines? Aerogay magazines exist? I'm sure they do, but I've just never seen one. Seriously. Okay. She flips through this through several pages until she reaches a page titled It's not too late! The best secret sightseeing spots. What does sightseeing have to do with anything? Okay. She continues to turn the pages until she reaches one titled Discovered at our nation's beach huts. What summer showgirls are wearing this season? Yep. I think she got her picture taken, I think we all did. Alongside it are various pictures of girls working at beach cabanas and other similar restaurants. It's a magazine for girls, so there are no seductive poses or anything, but all the girls pictured are really good looking and beaming with perfect summer smiles. And the girl posted top and center of the article is none other than... <gasps> Suzu. 
これってえ The photo was big enough to take up an entire page on its own. Girls in a white one piece swimsuit holding tongs in both hands. It's Suzu. Mm hmm. Ah,、uh, yeah. <laughs> This happened in Furelaba with,、uh, with Senpai. Yeah, this happened in Furry Daba with, with, with Misaki Senpai. There's a photo taken back when we were at the beach cabana working to gather funds for our summer comic head trip. Hmm. I wonder. He never told us anything. She gasps, gasps out. Seemingly just having to remember something important. And you didn't tell us this, so why? Oh boy. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> At this point, Kara comes running over with Akane and Akane Senpai in tow. Let go of her shirt, you're choking her. She makes cosplay. You expect her not to read fashion magazines? Oh. That really shouldn't be any consolation. I hope she would just. would have just noticed the fatal flaw in her femininity by now, but no, she just doesn't want to feel alone. Yeah, we got bigger fish to fry here, Kara. Agade <laughs> Senpai pats her on the shoulder as she throws her temper tantrum. Why? We all know what it's gonna be. Ignoring Nanaru's subtle diss, Sakurai Senpai clears her throat and begins to tell us. Don't have to forcefully insert BL into everything. I don't know. 
the ability to live. Hirakina Orikata got go kai d e s n I got it. Kono Nagare, mo ten don d e s n Takurate. Oh my god. And that's where the conversation ends. Of course, she has to steer this conversation into a sexual direction. A fucking course. Do you expect anything less? からその人からその雑誌見せてもらったのさあなたりでこちゃんカーラと同じ部活の子だよねと聞かれたでしょうおお私も似たような感じでなぜかカーラに捕まって校内引きずり回しのけすごい飛ばっちりやんひひよ<
I was gonna say, and also her family in uh, much less of a case, I guess. I don't know. I don't think she, think she was talking to you. You've really thought this out. Yeah. She's obsessed with an idol. You really think she's not going to want to be one herself? She tried pulling that ditzy idol act. They'd see through her fast. She's way too much to know of an open book. Hmm. She remarks half in admiration as she flips through the magazine. She's right though. Suzu's image is definitely the most conspicuous. <clears throat> Maho and I look at each other as Susie's voice trails off in sadness. Maybe Nandaru wasn't the only one getting overexcited. Maybe we're all equally to blame. Yeah, let's... Maybe I'll see if I can get everyone to stop talking about it, too. I... Yeah, that'll be... That'll certainly be a tall order. I'm in Onichan, and I'm gonna protect my, my emoto. Like, my life depends on it. Also... I know I use emoto for sister and little sister. I don't know. I always like to... I know that I know they don't mean the same thing. Or maybe they do. Yeah, whatever. They're both little sisters in Sosuke's eyes, that's why I use it. I puff out my chest with pride. In reality though, I have the slightest idea of what I'm gonna do. They do say you can't stop people from gossiping. I don't have many acquaintances in all honesty. Probably can't do much of anything. But Suzu... <laughs> is, she ever, is she ever gonna refer to me by my first name? She giggles at my bold, de bold declaration. She doesn't seem nearly as happy as she claims to be. It's obvious that she's just trying to ease her worries. Don't you like the photo? I take another good look at the photo in the magazine. Typically, you'd expect to see some sexy model in her 20s on the beach, but her cooking yakisoba in some super revealing bikini. But Susu's swimsuit is much more honest. Modest. Honest, Jesus. She seems so pure and genuine. Her pale white skin only serves to reinforce this image. The cameraman must must have been skilled too. He made the sweater on her forehead glisten in a very picturesque manner. I think it's a good shot of you. <laughs> yeah. Really accentuates your cuteness as well as your well mannered personality. Wow. I'm sure our parents will be ecstatic when they see this. Uh, are you really? Well, 
Doesn't seem like her issue is with the photo itself. So I can't help but wonder why she seems so down. You can be honest with us, Suzu. If you don't like it, you can say so. いや、無理してないと試みなんてつかないでしょ。うん。えっと、そうじゃないの。そうじゃなくて。その申し訳なくて。何がでこちゃうか。だ、だってこんなにいい写真を撮ってくれるカメラマンさんが来てたんだよ
God. Don't think about it too hard. You'll only hurt yourself. Yeah. Key Senpai is ingenious at controlling conversations. A simpleton like you stands no chance. Uh, that wasn't praise. <笑>でも、鈴が<笑> Even if she does have a point, that one stings. Oh my god. <laughs> Why voice acting and why only Eroge? <laughs> oh, these fourth wall breaks just write themselves, man. Absolutely! She's so pure, too. It'd be great. Oh, it's gonna happen soon, I bet. We continue to talk until the school bell rings. Looking around in panic, I realize most of the other students around us have already left. Ah, crap. We gotta get to our classrooms or we'll be late. Sounds like a plan. Ah, <sighs> なつやすみ中に瀬戸が死んでいないか首を揃えて確認する儀式でこちゃう。本当にそんな遠くびってそんなに重い意味があったんだ。ねえよ。いや、that's not it, Carl. What the fuck? Since we haven't seen each other since Summer Comic Cat, there's a whole lot for us to talk about. Even though we're running, running into school, our conversations don't stop. Then, in the middle of what should have been a normal day... You're the only Akane in this vicinity. I observed the unusual sight of Suzu talking to Akane-senpai. え、と、報告にちょっとお話を。ん、何何どうしたの鈴に時間よこせって言われた。えっと、大したことじゃないんだ。本当だよ。Are Unlikely. Uh, Senpai, please don't drag Suzu over to the dark side. No, 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 not at all. I'm just talking about your talking about you specifically. As far as I'm concerned, Akane Senpai is basically BL personified. Nothing I can do about that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Stop that! You're just making me more worried! That creepy, ominous laugh is really setting me on edge. How do you know? So the other half was serious? Shit, I don't know if I can still be Suzu's brother if he becomes a filthy BL fanatic. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh boy. ああ、ゴール。引き込める女子は全て沼に引きずり込むスタンスですが何か。引きずり込む気満々だ。鈴の作品好みの傾向は男キャラ多めの作品。故に引きずり込むことは絶やすい。あかね先輩、あの私の好
Out of the way! Oh, hold on. Ah! There we go. And they're both dead. <laughs> Bucho and I collide straight on. Ouch. There's a common trope in manga where the main character will bump into someone after turning a corner and they'll end up falling in love. But after experiencing this firsthand, I can tell you the only thing that you feel is a shit ton of pain. Yeah. What? I'm at the club room. What happened? Ugh. Sorry if you heard that, that yawn there. Uh, after finding it, I'm laying down for some reason. I slowly prop myself up. It wasn't just a bump. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, it died. My head feels dizzy. It must have hit pretty hard. I'm gonna have a bump later, that's for sure. Uh, Puto do call? She frowns and looks down. Uh, what's wrong? Is he okay? Oh, don't tell me. He got seriously hurt? Uh, his phone is. Oh, uh, okay. For a moment I feel relieved, however. Wait, I know where this is going. The joke's gonna be he cracked his phone screen and now there's an equally large crack in his heart, right? Oh, shit. Huh? He's pretty confident in my assertion. Well, I'm glad he's okay. I feel aw awful if I hurt him in some way. Bars. Oh, that, that... What? Um, why aren't you saying anything? Okay. Then why are... Oh. Well. <laughs> oh, you poor son of a bitch. That's uh That's not good. Just had to make a quick mic adjustment. Uh, oh shit. His body and phone may have made it out in one piece, but his mind took a critical hit. I guess it's my fault, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> それで手に持ってたスマホがすっぽ抜けて落ちたのを見つけられたせいで、見逃れできなかったみたい。いや、no、he部長全力で泣きながら拝み倒してたから、スタミナを少しこぼすくらいで終わるんじゃないかな。うん。イベントのランキングで2桁台に入ったのが抜かされるって先生に泣いてすがりついてたけど。I'm uh -huh. sure are a lot of events over summer. Both in the real world and in games. Is it really okay for me to absolve myself of all blame just because he had his phone out? I'll find him later and apologize. Uh, where did you learn that term? Ah, who am I kidding? It was probably Bucho. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, did you already have your talk with Akane? Uh, uh, 
と部長のことがあったから That was a lie. There's nothing too suspicious in her actions, so I have no proof. But my intuition is telling me this. I guess you could call it a Monichan Sixth Sense? I'm sure, if I pressed Suzu on it, she'd end up telling me the truth. But is that really what I want to do? Oh, okay. Oh, I guess there's no reason why it has to be right away. Seems a little caught off guard by the fact that I dropped the subject so quickly, but her tone indicates that she's relieved. I can't say I'm not a little... No, extremely curious to know what this conversation topic is that she apparently doesn't want her own Eton knowing about. If it's something you think I could help you with, I'm always willing to lend you an ear. Save from the bottom of my heart. Come to think of it, uh, where are the others? Uh, oh, that's pretty nice of them. W wait, hold up. All of them went? Suzu and I are the only ones here. How do you know? Uh, how do you know Key Senpai is not hanging from the ceiling? Or hiding underneath one of the tables? I know Prez is currently getting lectured by a teacher. I don't see any reason why all the others would need to go to the cafeteria to get us drinks. Uh, about going to buy us drinks? That girl being excited about something not anime related? Oh, I have a really, really bad feeling about this. Yeah. Something is amiss here. The others returned before long. Yeah, I just woke up a minute or two ago. Oh boy. You don't know that. Hi, Daichobu this. Probably gonna have a bump on my head though. Don't remind me. まあ、この学園に私ほどの美少女はなかなかいないと思うけど。それは聞き捨てなりませんね。はは。きゃ。また突然現れた。<笑> What is she, a ninja? Uh... Yeah, more than likely. あれ先輩食堂に行った時いなかったですよね。言われてみれば。どこに行ってたんですかちょっとコンビニまで行ってきました。え、ここから近くのコンビニまで往復30分はかかりませんか? ブスーでて食堂に急速に出て戻ってきた時間は10分もなかったと思うのでこちゃうか。愛の力です。ああ。愛の力です。パワー。ウォー、back uh -huh. <笑> up. I hurriedly pushed Key Senpai away as she encroaches on my personal space. Again. Where does she get all her energy from? She all done something towards me. Funnily enough, despite having gone all the way to the store at superhuman speeds and scorching hot temperatures, there isn't a drop of sweat on her. Damn, she's a superhero. <laughs> oh boy, what, what, what could it be? Ah, uh, arigato. She hands me a bottle of this nutritional drink that I see my dad drink a lot. But there's some sticker on the front that I don't think I've seen before. 
It's a vibrant red. Almost like a color you'd expect to indicate poison? Uh, what is this, by the way? Of course. And what part of my body exactly is this drug going to quote unquote revitalize? Do you really have to ask that? This is Senpai we're talking to. Does nothing phase this girl? I think it did. <laughs> it's okay, Suzu. Calm down. Suzu shakes her bright red head side to side, trembling like a boiling kettle. It sounded like a cuckoo bird. No. Not really. Uh-huh. Okay, yep, she's broken. Boys, we got a problem. We need a replacement Suzu, pronto. And she's dead. Oh, she turned into a rooster. Uh-oh. Suzu! That's her joke, what the fuck? Don't recite erotica into her ear, damn it! Oh boy. <laughs> Suzu! Hang in there, Suzu! Yes. Absolutely. We completely ignore Ki Senpai's lame joke as we try to nurse Suzu back to health. Fortunately, the damage doesn't seem to have been too severe. And she soon opens her eyes. Does she have the color in her eyes still? Ah, uh, don't sweat it. You did the same for me when I blacked out. She smiles sweetly at me. It really seems like she thought that was only the natural thing to do. Oh, I'm so proud to have such a kind Emoto. Seriously, there, there, there is a limit to certain things, you know. <laughs> I don't even think she finished her thought before I clicked, but it made sense anyway. <clears throat> what could such a pure and innocent girl like Suzu possibly need to discuss with a degenerate gay porn lover like Akane Senpai? Can't even imagine it. She makes you feel like a pathetic Onitan. That being said, though, she and I spent a long time apart. I guess it's only natural for there to be things I don't know about her. I mull over the limitations of blood connections as a vacant feeling fills my chest. Oh no, not this again. Ugh. Ugh. Back when our parents got divorced, it came as no real shock to us. We'd already begun to notice the changes in the relationship. They spoke to each other far less frequently and even avoided being alone together. But even as their marriage deteriorated, they smiled and pretended to be a happy, loving couple in front of us. Probably out of a sense of parental duty, I'd imagine. That's why I could never bring myself to resent my parents for separating. Nor did I try to child childlessly oppose their decision. Yeah. I think that's how it was for me as well. 
they broke the news that they were getting divorced to us. It was more of a moment of... Ah, uh, so it's finally happening. However, neither me nor Suzu expected that we would have to be separated from one another. I... I hate that. You have to get you have to get separated in, in a fucking custody battle. <sighs> it won't be forever, Suzu. <laughs> Nothing my parents did could get her to stop crying. He tried soothing her, scolding her. Why would you scold her? Giving her presents, but none of that convinced her to accept the reality that she wouldn't be living with her big brother anymore. Dad, though, was pretty depressed that she wasn't ups uh, wasn't as upset about not being able to live with him anymore. You selfish prick. Shabong. Could you not force your way into my flashback, Dad? Alright, so moving on. Uh, perhaps by the time Suzu is finally old enough to form memories, the discord between our parents is already obvious. That would make me the only family member she felt she could rely on. Calm down, you're not gonna die, Suzu. <laughs> Bunnies are herbivores, so they're far too simplistic as creatures to even know what loneliness is. It's all just an urban legend. Huh? Why is she crying? That was supposed to cheer her up! You're a girl, Suzu. It's best that you stay with Mom. Yeah. You can't just do that! Heck no! You can't just turn yourself into a boy with some magic spell! Yeah, maybe she could, but st but really... Boy <laughs> Boys have wee-wees and you don't have one, Suzu! <laughs> See? Uh, <laughs> wow. I didn't want to ask this, but I did anyways. Um, give you my what? Oh, did you? <sighs> oh my god. I can't do that. No, I can't. That's impossible! Suzu and I tired ourselves waiting until we were completely exhausted. <sighs> it won't be forever, Suzu. When you grow up, you'll be able to get a job, make lots of money, then you'll be okay. Think about it the other way. 
When you're growing up, we'll get to meet again. It's something to look forward to. <laughs> Huh. You got me, huh? Well, nice memory, Suzu. <sighs> this probably won't be at the thumbnail, but I'll do it anyway. Relieved to hear Suzu laugh again, I continued. I'm gonna be lonely too, but I won't die. We'll see each other again, I promise. Her face clouded over with anxiety, which I can only imagine was because she pictured her life without me. I pulled her into a hug and continued speaking per persuasively. Someday, somewhere, we'll see each other again. Well, how about this? I'll come and see you when you turn into the most beautiful, smartest girl there is. Sure. You're already the cutest girl ever. Me too. We'll make a promise out of it. She wiped her eyes with her sleeve and stared at me with those big red eyes. Sure. What is it? When she said that, Maho's face momentarily flashed across my mind. I didn't know if I should be making a promise like that with my sister when I already had a girl I had a crush on. However... A second or two went by without me saying anything and Suzu looked like she was about to cry. So I gave her a firm nod. Of course I will. Does your own Nichan tell lies? <laughs> That's a good girl, Susu. We're gonna have to say goodbye, but it'll only be... But it'll only be for a little bit. I'll do everything I can to become the best husband ever for you. Just make sure you do the same and become an amazing woman. Sorry about that. <clears throat> the emotions came once again. Uh, I wake up in my own room. Looking out at the window tells me it's already well into the evening. 
All right. I came home and fell asleep. My memories of the walk home are hazy. I can't seem to remember what we talked about. I was probably distracted by something else. I promised her I'd marry her. I sigh, remembering what I once said to Suzu. It was a promise. But it promises children. Now that I'm older, I realize that siblings can't marry one another. Uh, maybe not in Japan. Suzu must know that too, but still. Oh, why did I even make that promise in the first place? Stop her from crying? I doubt she would have stopped if I hadn't said yes. I still don't quite understand why I promised her that, but... What's occupying my mind more... Is her. I wonder if she still remembers it. Of course, I already know the answer. I think back to the night before Summer Comic hit. I asked her if she was scared without me when we were separated, and she replied thusly. Just like she promised me, she bore against the weight of the loneliness. Even after her birth mom died. Also, she could eventually see me again one day. She learned how to cook, did well in school, became tens if not hundreds of times cuter. She became wonder and wonderful in every sense of the word for me. <gasps> it, I feel like I can hear her talking to me. She still does remember her promise. Then now what? Ugh, <sighs> all if Susie wasn't my sister and just another girl, I probably would have fought for her, to be honest. But what about her? If I wasn't her brother, she probably wouldn't have even spared me a second glance. Ah, uh, my Emoto grew up to the perfect girl. But me? I'm just some worthless nerd. Wait a second. Susie's a nerd, too. Well, not that it matters. Even if she is a nerd, she's clearly a million times more worthwhile as a person than I am. It's starting to sound like me, dude. Just a few days ago, I was thinking about the possibility of Suzu marrying another guy. Back then, I came to the conclusion that no guy was good enough for her. And now, I'm finally coming to the realization that I was wrong. I do oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't see Suzu as my sister, but as a girl. She's really grown up into a beautiful girl in the time we spend apart. Maybe the reason I'm finding myself attracted to her now is precisely because we spent so much time away from each other. And if she remembers her promise to marry me, then... I hope she's forgotten. For her own sake. If she does remember, there won't be a single positive outcome for her. Ugh. Though, I can't just ask her flat out if... Wait. Oh, another typo. I can't just ask her flat out if she remembers. How do I even bring up that subject? Uh, the moment I breathe in that massive sigh. Onita! Oh! Oh! The door suddenly bursts open, and a certain sister of mine jumps jumps me, knocking me back on my bed. Eh? 
conjugation? What's that? Some kind of new verb con conjugation? Yeah, I call bullshit. You just fucking said it, though! Your sense of shame is definitely out of whack. <laughs> so, why are you barging in my room, oh wonderful sister of mine? Oh, I haven't had a good beef stew in a long time. Damn it. I'll just let the machine get it. Did you help her? Did you make another bioweapon? So basically what she meant to say was, I didn't do jack shit. Oh, is that... Is that fucking... Robo call again. Anyway, not that I mind. It's a relief. Considering what happened with the whole omelet incident. Oh, yeah. Let's not go back to that. I gently pat my cheekily grinning little sister on the shoulder. I need to thank her for always knowing how to blow my worries completely away. Ah, uh, never change, you silly baka. Well... Su- or, uh, no. Sosuke... Starting to see... Suzu as a woman. And not his sister. So... We're gonna have full Alabama before long. And, uh... I, if you're, if you're against that sort of thing, even in video games, then I don't know what to tell you. But, uh, oh man. Also, why did we have to go back to the, to the, uh, events of the divorce? Am I gonna, am I gonna really cry in every major route? I don't think I, I don't think I did in Kara or Akane's roots, but anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode of Sun and I. Until next time, don't be a dick to your significant other. Family ties are important, and keep on rocking. Also, if you uh, noticed any of the pauses, that was me composing myself, because like I said, the divorce. Uh, oh, pardon me, the divorce parts get to me every time they're brought up. But, uh, yeah. Keep on rocking.